All right, we're here at Daigo's shop, Fat Five Racing today with... Ta-da! JR. He's here uh, looking at his uh, Mustang, which is at Daigo's shop today. And uh, they've just done all their monster energy sort of stuff, meeting Daigo and seeing all the cars and that sort of stuff. So they're off. So Ready to go. We'll looking forward to the weekend. Going to see him tomorrow. It's a big party in Japan. Yeah. See you guys soon. All right. All right. See you later. Thanks, bro. All right. So what we're going to do now is just have a bit of a look around Daigo's shop. Uh, because I'm sure a lot of people would be interested in that sort of thing. First, what we'll do is just walk over here where these are. JR's Mustang, which we'll be using on the weekend at uh, a Diver D1. And also, this. This is the X Liberty Walk uh, Lamborghini that Daigo built up to be a drift car and will be uh, debuting this weekend at the Adiba D1. So, Let's have a bit of a closer look at it. So here's the sort of steering angle Daigo managed to get out of uh, Lamborghini. And the way he did it was uh, using a Celsius rack with the uh, Supra knuckles, you can see there. And the IKEA Formula arms, which are on this car, are all actually custom made. So more than enough angle for a drift car. That's right, the doors go up, don't they? Ugh. So here's the interior. It could be uh, mistaken for pretty much any other drift car if it wasn't uh, a Lamborghini. And of course it is manual. Uh, Dago's still using the standard transmission for now, but he says he wants to upgrade to a uh, sequential, if budget <laughs> allows for it. Of course, plenty of uh, Daigo holes in the Perspex. A standard V12 engine with uh, HKS pod filters on it. Here's the engine bay. Uh, again, custom made IKEA Formula suspension arms on the rear. A straight exhaust pipe with the uh, crossover in the middle. And these tips. <laughs> I mean, look at that. And of course, here we have JR's car. Considerably roomier on the inside, it looks like. Of course, both these cars are sponsored by Monster, which is why they're running the same color scheme. Here's some of the other stuff around in Daigo's shop. Shark JZX90 that we've seen in uh, Formula D uh, Japan events. The uh, electric power steering is actually out of an A-Class Mercedes-Benz. And rear mount radiator setup with the standard JZX90 fuel tank, which is in a pretty good spot in the car, and fuel system. More Daigo holes. Casual Viper just chilling out up there. So into the workshop. So here's the front office with his uh, JZX100. Huge row of Formula D trophies and D1 trophies. So 2J180. Uh, S15 getting a 1JZ conversion. The Lexus. Apparently this is just a toy, a toy with this sort of engine in it. Challenger and R35. Lots of pipes, pipe bender, full machine shop. So there you go, just a quick uh, tour of Daigo's workshop. It's pretty cool as far as our workshops go. I think he finished it only earlier this year, which is why it still looks so clean. The train. This is the sort of place it is. It's next to a train line. That's a graveyard. And directly that way is an Air Force base. So. It's the sort of place you'd uh, want to buy a workshop and make lots of noise, but uh, I'm not sure if the neighbours would appreciate it too much. 
So we'll be seeing more of uh, JR's Mustang and Daigo's Lamborghini this weekend at D1 Grand Prix Adiba. And I'll be going to that. So look forward to some video after that.